Passing data between components in your view is critical in any application. In WPF, it's super simple because we have the data context, which any child element will automatically inherit, therefore giving it access to the data from the parent. However, in Angular, it's not so simple. We don't have a data context to inherit from. So, how do we pass data from a parent component to a child component, and then from a child component back to the parent? Well, let's find out. Roll the intro. In this example, we are using an ng4 directive to loop through an array of makes. This array is defined in our component TypeScript file. And for each item in the makes array, we are printing out an h2 element that represents that make, as you can see on the right hand side in the browser, Chevy, for GMC, and Dodge. However, in a production application, this h2 tag, this would most likely be represented by another component. So let's create another component now to represent the make. Let's start by showing our console and I'm going to type ng generate component and I'm going to call this component child. Once the component is generated, I'm going to close the terminal and replace it with the app-child component that we just created. I'm going to save this and then we'll see that we are now spitting out child works exclamation point for each object in this array. To see what's going on, Let's open up the child component, both the HTML and the TypeScript. Now by inspecting the child component HTML, we can see that child works is actually hard coded within the paragraph element. That's why we see multiple instances of child works being printed in the browser. This is because for each object in our makes array, we are creating an instance of the child component, which in this case says child works. What we want to do is for each instance in this makes array, we want to actually display the make within this child component. So let's start by first creating an H2 element. And within this H2 element, we're going to define an interpolation binding to something called make. You can probably guess by now that now we have to go into our TypeScript file and create a new property called make and we'll make it of type string. Now that we have defined this property, let's go back into our component and where it says at dash child, we're going to create a property binding to that new property we just created. And we're gonna to bind to the make variable that we created here. So for each make and makes, we're going to create a property binding and render at a child. Let's save all the work and see what happens. As you can see, nothing happens. That's because it doesn't quite work that way. What we have to do is we have to come into the TypeScript file of the child component where we define the make property. And we want to add an input decorator. So we're gonna go at input and we're gonna import this from angular slash core. And this is actually a method, so make sure you put the parentheses. We'll save that. And now you will see that we are rendering out the Chevy, Ford, GMC, and Dodge just like we were before, except this time, from our main component, we are actually passing data from within our ng4 directive. We're passing data from the makes array to the child component by providing a property binding to a property that we defined on the child component and decorated with the input decorator. Now, what do we do if we want to pass information or data from the child component back up to the parent component? In this case, we have to use what's called an event emitter. So let's start by saying whenever the H2 tag is clicked, we are going to invoke a function called onClicked. We will go into our child component TypeScript file and define the onClicked function. And when this function is invoked, we want to send some type of data back to the parent. In this case, we have to use what's called an event emitter. Let's define a variable called notify, and it's gonna be of type event emitter of T. And the T is the type of data we're sending back. We'll set it to a new instance of an event emitter. And within the on clicked, we're going to say this.notify.emit, and then the message or the data we're going to send back. In this case, this.make was clicked. But we're not quite done yet. We also have to decorate this event emitter with an output decorator. So we'll say at symbol output, and it's a method, so make sure you add your parentheses. And that's all we have to do on the child component itself. However, now the parent component has to listen to that event emitter, 
handle it and do something with the data. So let's go back to our sample component, the HTML and the TypeScript. Uh, let's define another variable or property. We will call this title and it will be of type string and we'll create an interpolation binding to that in that paragraph tag. Now what we want to do, create an event binding to the notify event emitter. And we will call this on notified. Let's go into a TypeScript file, define the on notified function. And then here we will set this dot title equal to, okay, equal to what? What are we setting it equal to? How do we get the data from the notify event emitter into the function to handle that information? Well, we have to use the dollar sign event property. And now we can add the message here equals message. And as we click each of the various makes that have displayed in H2 tags, we can see that our title has been successfully updated. So using both the input and output decorators, we can now pass data to components and receive data from components. As you can see, by using the input decorator and the output decorator, we can easily pass data from a parent component to a child component and from the child component back to the parent. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to announce the winner from last week's video for the one year subscription to the Infragistics Ultimate License. You ready for this? The winner is Akito Lee, congratulations, you are the winner. I will be contacting you very shortly on how to claim your license. If you'd like to learn how to take your desktop skills to the web with Angular, while at the same time entering for a chance to win a one-year subscription to Infragistics Ultimate worth nearly $2,000, well then like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and you'll be entered into next week's drawing. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.